hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is ruby so today we are going to be making a corset pattern i'm super excited that i finally got to make this video i just had a baby so i've, I've been <laughs> away for so long all right to get this tutorial going you will need to take the following body measurements before we proceed if you're new here welcome to the family if you're an old subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos and feel free to share this video with your family and friends and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful without further ado let's just dive straight into the video so i already have my lines marked as always just to save some time but i'll quickly explain to you how i got this lines marked okay so um this is a shoulder line and you're going to be taking our measurements from the shoulder the line so from the shoulder to this point is 11 inches this is my bust point so it should be my bust line and then from the shoulder to this point is 15 inches this is my under bust then from the shoulder to this point is 17 inches this is my waist line and then from the shoulder line to this place is the full length of the top let us get our bust broad some people call it nipple to nipple my measurement is 7 inches and I'm going to divide that by 2 which is 3.5 inches. So what this simply means is that whatever your boss broad is, you should divide it by 2. So if your boss broad is 8, divide it by 2 and you get 4. If it is 8.5, you know, like that. But this one is 7 so I divide it by 2 to get 3.5. So I'll take my ruler and draw a straight line to connect the points. So on the waistline, the half length, I'm going to keep my tape this way on this line and I'm going to measure one inch on each side. Then coming over to my under bust, I'm going to keep my tape on the line as well and I'll measure one inch on both sides. So I'm going to connect my points with a straight ruler. Now coming over to my hip line, I'm going to come up from there by one inch. So I'm going to connect from this point to this point. And then coming over to my bust line, I'm going to connect from here to this point and also from here to this point. So before we proceed, we need to get our chest line. To get the chest line, we need our shoulder measurement. Our shoulder measurement is 16. I'm going to divide that by two, which will give me eight inches. So here I'm going to come down by one inch. This one inch is going to be for the shoulder slant. To get the chest line, we're going to divide our measure, bust measurement by six. Okay, so what we have here is 39 divided by 6. What it's going to give us is 6.5. I'm going to add 1.5 to that, making it a total of 8 inches. So from this point, I'm going to come down by 8 inches. So I'm going to draw a straight line from the shoulder slant to the 8 inches that we measured. And I'm going to extend this line this way. Okay, so this is going to be our chest line. I'm going to get um, the radius of our bust. And to do that, you're going to measure from your bust point to the under bust. And what I have here is 4 inches. For some people, it is 3.5. So I'm going to mark this 4 inches round. I'm using red marker to give some dotted lines because this is not going to be the main line. So I'm going to take these dotted lines round. Now coming over to this point, because um, the distance between um, the distance from my bust line to my under bust is four inches, and if you see the um, from here to this point is three point five, it won't go around so i'm going to stop here okay it doesn't mean anything it's not going to affect the measurement all right so in case you have a big bust and you've been wondering how you're going to do or how you're going to do it when you get to this point just 
know that it's not a problem but then if yours is 3.5 or less feel free to go around it you're going to have a round circle there so from this boss line i'm going to go up by 1.5 inch and from there i'm going to come in by half inch that is if you want the distance between your two busts to be one inch but then if you want it to be more you can come in by three quarter you can come in by two inches where i advise you just come in by one inch because you don't want that place looking somehow okay so from this um bust on the bust i'm going to come up by half an inch so i'm going to use a curve to connect from this line here to this point here this is for this side of the breast like the side going towards the center now for this other side of the breast you're going to come out by three quarter inch so i'm going to connect from this point this point right here So at this point, I need to extend this um, center line. I need to extend it because the need has come. So now I'm going to connect from this point to this point. But then um, let me just explain something here. If you don't want your cleavage to show, you don't want to show, you know, um, your skin, you can come up by half an inch. But then if you want your cleavage to show, from this line you come down by half an inch but then if you leave it at this line your cleavage will still show but it wouldn't be too much personally i like to cover my bust a lot okay so i'm going to go up by half an inch this is my personal preference so whichever one you want to do just do it so i'm going to connect from this line to this line with my curve so for this side of the bust from the chest line, I'm going to come down by half an inch. So I'll connect from here to this point, then from this point to this point. Remember I said you can connect from here to this point which is okay. I can also come down by half an inch and connect. That is if you want your cleavage to show. But because I don't want to show nothing, that's why I went up from this line by half an inch, okay? So whichever one you have chosen, the steps still remains the same. I don't know if it makes sense to you. So this part is not looking seamless the way I want it to look. So I'm going to use my curve to smoothen it, to make it look the way I want it to look. Coming to this line, I'm going to measure one inch on both sides, just like what we did here. I'm going to measure one inch on this side and one inch on this other side. So I'm going to use my ruler to connect. So remember from the chest line, we came down by half inch, which is here. I'm going to extend it, like I'm going to draw a line from that point just like this so guys it's now time to get our actual bust measurement our bust is 39 i'm going to divide that by 4 which i have 9.75 approximately 9.8 so from this point i'm going to measure this is where 9.8 should be you're going to be using one inch to join okay half inch on one side and half inch on this other side so that one inch is what i'm going to add to the actual measurement giving us 10.8 so i'm going to be marking 10.8 right here so this 10.8 is what i'm going to extend to this line here Coming over to the underboss, our underboss is 32. I'm going to divide that by 4, which is going to give us 8 inches. This is where our 8 inch mark should be. But because we took 1 inch on both sides of this line, 
one inch here one inch here which is going to give us two now we're going to add that two inches to the actual underboss measurement which is eight inches so when you add two to eight inches all we have is ten we're going to use one inch to join half inch on this side and half inch on this other side so we are going to add that one inch to 10 inches which will give us 11 inches so we're going to do the same thing at the waistline the waist measurement is 32 32 by 4 is 8 inches one inch went out from here one inch went out from here which is two inches we are going to add it to eight inches which is 10 and then we are going to be using one inch to join the darts which is 11 inches The hip is 40 40 by 4 is going to give us 10 so this is our 10 inch mark then we are going to be joining our darts with one inch okay so we are going to add that one inch to the actual um, measurement which is 10 so what we have is 11 so it's almost looking like we have a straight line do not worry when we join the darts the shape is going to show so let me just label this a b c and d so you don't get confused when joining with what we have here we didn't add our seam allowances to this so we are going to do that on the main fabric so now you can leave this straight this way or you can give it a curve it all depends on what you want so if you want this to have a curve you can come up by 1 inch, 1.5 inch, depending on how dramatic you want it to be. But I'm going to come up by half an inch, just show you guys what it's going to look like if it has a curve. I have an extra paper here this is going to be for the back I don't want you to get confused that's why I placed the paper here I want to extend these lines here on the other side so that it's going to be very simple when we are drafting the back pattern so I'm going to give one inch allowance for the zipper so let's get our dart first before we continue Remember our bust broad, which is nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches. That's what we're going to use. So from this um, line, from this zipper line, I'm going to measure 3.5 because 7 inches divided by 2 is going to give us 3.5 inches. So from that point, I'm going to measure half inch on both sides. So from this chest line, I'm going to come down by 1 inch. So this 3.5 mark, let me take it up to this bust line area and then down to the hip. So I'm going to connect with a straight ruler. So I'm going to connect my points from this point to here and then from this point to here. Then from the hip line, I'm going to come up by one inch. I'm going to connect from here to here and then from here to here. So our bust measurement is 39. 39 by 4 is going to give us 9.75, approximately 9.8. So I'm going to measure from this line, from this zipper line. This is where our 9.8 mark should be. I'm going to extend it to this line like two inches is our waist i'm dividing that by four which is going to give us eight inches so this is our eight inches here i'm going to give an extra one inch allowance for the darts which will give us nine inches then coming over to our hip our hip is 40 40 divided by four is going to give us 10 so this is our hip mark i'm going to go on to connect our points so I did not give our seam allowance here. I'm going to do that on the fabric proper. Okay, coming over to the hemline. Remember, the front has a curve. So I'm also going to put a curve at the back. Remember I told you that this is optional. You can leave it straight if you don't want to give it a curve. 
So coming over to this side, you can decide to leave it straight or make it slant, okay? And if you want to slant it, you can still decide to slant it by one inch, half inch, one and a half, two inches, depending on how you want it to look. Okay, I want to leave it straight this way. So guys, it is time for us to cut out our pattern. So let's cut the front pattern as well. So guys, this is what our pattern looks like. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Let me know if you'd like me to show you guys how to sew a corset. But for now, this is bye from this side. Feel free to share this video with your family and friends. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Alright, until next time guys, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are.